Hey guys, it is Angel from the Abernathy's Go Green and today I have for you an unboxing of the very first Go Organic Box. Have you heard of this subscription box? It is a subscription box for organic, cleanly formulated makeup and this is their first box. It is the November box and you get it monthly. It's $39.95 a month. Um, it comes in this uh, bubble wrap mailer and a pretty box uh, pink and black and gold it says go organic with a K box it comes like this it has a little fold out thing that companies include or these subscription boxes include to tell you about the products that are in here with a sticker so the first thing I see is a it looks like an eyeshadow brush let's see what the little fold out has to say about it um, this is the MOTD Mr. Handyman brush. It is valued at $12. It's supposed to be a multi-use brush. You can use it for eyeshadow, highlighting, and contouring. It's designed with Taclon fibers, so it's synthetic and not made of animal hair, which is good. It blends cream or powder shadows on the lid and can also be used for highlighting or contouring on the face. It's hypoallergenic and suitable for all skin types, even those with sensitive skin. So that's really good. I have a brush like this that I use for laying down my base that's actually kind of identical to this. Um, I think it's probably too small, in my opinion, to use as like a contour. Well, I guess you can if you want to get really like precise contouring, which I don't really do. Um, I do wear highlighters, but I think I'm going to use this mostly for like i said laying down that first layer of eyeshadow i really like that the second thing is pure lano it looks like a lip gloss and oh my gosh you guys it has a mirror on the side not gonna lie i've been wanting to try the hint beauty or hint cosmetics or hint beauty lipsticks because their lipsticks have a you flip a little cap on the lid and it has a tiny mirror and I want to try that lipstick just because of the mirror, honestly. So let me take off this sticker here and I'll show you if we can swatch it. There's a button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it has like LED lighting. This is for like, you know, those wild nights out, I guess, when you have to put your lip gloss on in the club. <laughs> which I personally know nothing about. But let's take a look at this. This is the Pure Lano $25 um, Natural Hydrating Lip Gloss in the shade Coral Sand. It says it's a moisturizing formula blend of natural oil, scent, and color that soothes and protects lips from harsh elements. Perfect for fall and winter. Um, Pure Lano is scientifically formulated using lanolin, which I believe is from lamb's wool, if I'm not mistaken. I remember reading about it a while ago. Uh, one of the nature's most powerful emollients providing defense against free radicals while restoring moisture and protecting skin. LED lit applicator wand. That's got to be the first. I don't think I've ever seen a lip gloss or any kind of makeup product that has the LED right here. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Um, let me swatch it for you really fast. It looks like it has a lot of like a uh, shimmer. It says coral, but I get more of like a bronzy uh, color to it. A nice neutral, I guess. We'll see how it applies on the lip. So that's the second product. The next one is Oh Natural! Woohoo! I've been wanting to try this brand too. Um, and this is the All Glowing Highlighter Stick Glow Get em. in the shade. What's the shade? I don't know. Well, look at this. Uh, oh Natural. It's worth $35. The All Glowing Cream Highlighter OG, I guess is what the shade is. Uh, luminous Sheen with Golden Undertones. Uh-oh. Let's look. Ooh, I like the packaging. So I've been wanting to try the Eau Natural brand for, like I said, a lot of their color cosmetics, especially the ones that are in the Beauty Hero store, it's in a pump bottle. And I guess you pump it onto a surface and then 
to use it, but it's like a powdered pigment. And I really don't like that because I think it would be messy. So I prefer pressed or like this is a cream. Holy cow, that's gold. <laughs> I don't know about this, you guys. This swatched. That's obviously you're not gonna put a giant strip of that on the top of your cheekbones, but it's quite pigmented, so we're gonna have to use a light hand on this. But I was kind of hoping it would be like a moonstone shade, especially if they're sending it out in a subscription box like this. Obviously, women of every color will receive this, and I personally don't think that it would be fitting for someone with a fairer skin tone. But that's just me. I mean, you know, this is makeup and it should be fun and no rules and whatever. You can do whatever you want as far as makeup application and whatever you think looks good. But I personally don't think that it would look good on someone with fairer skin tone. I'm even afraid to put it on mine. And I have quite a bit of yellow undertones um, as well as a little bit of pink. But we'll play with this and see how it looks. And then the last thing in the box is... Zooey Organic Certified Organic Flora Eyeshadow Quad Palette. Awesome! And it says it's made in Australia. I love the packaging. Um, it's in the shade Fresh. Whoops. That's what the packaging looks like. It's black. It says Zooey Organics in the front. Woo -hoo -hoo. It looks very fall appropriate. That's what the palette looks like. It reminds me of pumpkin pies and scarecrows. <laughs> Very fall indeed. Um, to be honest, these two shades right here, I have no idea what to do with. I pretty much stick to neutral shades like these two, but this will kind of be fun to play around with. Um, like I said, very fall appropriate. This little thing I probably am never gonna use, but thank you for that anyways. It says here that it's a $59.50 $50 value. I get that it's certified organic. There's the heater kicking on, sorry. Um, it says that it's certified organic and it's $59.50 $50 for this palette. You would think like that, like the Antonym eyeshadow quad, it comes with an actual brush, like, you know, that you can use, not like this cheap plastic foam applicator just my opinion for such a pricey um, eyeshadow quad. So let's see how this swatches. It looks very pretty. It's not as pigmented. You saw how I kind of have to really get in there. Maybe because it's new. You kind of have to break that. <sighs> There's not much of a fallout. It all pretty much just stuck to my fingers. And I blew on it to see how much fallout there would be, but there's really not much. So really happy with that as far as formulation. Let's swatch it on my hand and see what it looks like. This is like the cream shade. Very pretty, I like that. And this is that more brownie, taupey. I guess I would call that taupey shade. This is the orange scary shade. <laughs> orange or coral, I guess. And there's that gold. Ooh, that's actually pretty. Or maybe it's just not... That gold is not wanting to swatch very well. Whoops! And I just dropped it. It looks very rich in the pan, but it's not really getting on my finger very much. I wish it was more pigmented. I can't see it! Not on my skin tone. Ugh. We'll see how it looks on my eyelids because I want to play with it now. So this says that it is a talc-free certified organic floral blend of rose chamomile and jasmine flowers in the eyeshadow. That's pretty cool. They're enriched with natural vitamins and minerals which deliver both a subtle and sophisticated color palette. It soothes and nourishes your eyelids plus brings a vibrant full pigment shade for a dynamic effect. Brush the Zooey Organics onto eyelids with a sable brush, not the applicator we provided you with, <laughs> and layer or wet brush for a more intense contour effect, or color effect, rather. It looks really pretty. I really can't wait to play with this and see how it looks on my eyelids. 
So let's do that. Okay, so I did one eye with this look that I came up with. I'm really not sure if... I think it looks really good. It's not transferring very well on the camera, but it looks a little bit more pigmented than this. Um, and then, of course, the mascara and the winged eyeliner is my own. Let me show you on the other side how I did it really fast. I did use the MOTD um, Mr. Handyman brush on the on the lightest shade, just on the brow bone, and a little bit over all over the lid and underneath. I don't know. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Okay. I have this mirror right in front of me, <laughs> um, just like an, as an overall wash of color. I feel like it's shimmery enough to be used as an eyebrow highlight and an inner corner, but it's not that shimmery that you can't use it all over the lid using a lighter hand. So I like that about it, so you don't have to reach for another eyeshadow. Um, and then I used um, Eco Tools Dual Ended Brush. I am using the smudge side on the gold. And this is annoying because I am like digging my brush in that gold shade and I'm getting nothing. And it looks like packed in there. You know how like the eyeshadow starts getting that glossy appearance on top of it like that? And then it won't let you have any of the product? That's annoying! I'm gonna have to take my nail and uh, scrape that off because it's not letting me have any pigments. But I put some of the, that gold shade in the inner corner on top of that um, champagne shade. Inner corner and about the inner third, I guess. So there's the gold. I don't know if you can tell, but it's there. It's very light, but it's there. And then I'm gonna use the, my other dual ended um, Eco Tools, the shading side, on the orange shade, I guess. What color are they calling this? Grapefruit. And I'm gonna concentrate that color on the middle third. Kind of just pack it on. And I have hooded eyes, and I feel like it looks good. Like, whenever I close my eyes, there's like a ton of pigment, but when I open it, it's all gone. So, uh, for my particular um, eye shape, I have to go above the crease a little bit. So that way it's not all gone whenever I look up. But that's just my eye shape. And then I'm gonna go in with my the um, other Eco Tools brush that I was using earlier and I'm gonna use the blending side on this uh, chestnut shade and I'm gonna use it on like the outer V and bring it over to the crease clean it up a little bit because I went a little crazy after digging into the gold I was assuming that the chestnut would be the same way but it's not it's super pigmented and you I had no problem picking up pigments from that so that's what it looks like so far with the f all four shades and I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more of that grapefruit in the middle of my eyelid because whenever I blend it in that espresso or whatever it's called, what is it called? Why do I keep forgetting? Fudge, <laughs> not espresso. I've got coffee in the brain. Um, whenever I put some of that fudge in, um, it kind of took it all away. And I can't see any more of that pretty orange. It looks really nice. I like it. I wish you could see it better on the camera. But I like it a lot. Why do I keep... <laughs> I keep fudging it up. I keep dipping into the fudge. But I want more of the grapefruit. I hope I'm calling it right. Chestnut fudge rich golden grapefruit. Okay, so the top of the eyelids are done. I'm going to go in again into that um, chestnut shade and put 
a little bit more of that eyebrow, like that brow, brow bone highlight. So it'll match that side. And I'm going to take my smudge brush and do the gold again into the inner corner. And again, I don't know why I'm not using the mirror I have in my hand. <laughs> I'm not used to doing makeup in front of the camera or with this tiny mirror that I have in my hand. So you'll have to forgive me. So I went into that grapefruit and did a little bit under the lower lash line. And then now I'm going to dip into the espresso with the same smudge brush and do the outer corner on my lower lash line staying very close to the eyelashes to give it that smoky look and then again into the espresso and I'm just going to make uh, the outer V a little bit more intense with that espresso there there's the out the eyeshadow look finished I'm going to go ahead and put my liquid liner and lashes so I don't look crazy so eyes are completely done. I really like how it turned out. Um, this is a palette that I probably never would have picked out on my own because like I said, these two colors are very scary to me. But with the addition of this espresso shade, why do I keep calling it espresso? Darn it. It's chestnut or fudge. Fudge. <laughs> how do people do this, you guys? <laughs> I keep forgetting the names. This is chestnut. This is... Fudge. Fudge. Fudge is delicious. Why do I keep messing it up? Um, and then this is grapefruit and that is, hang on, I have to look, rich gold. <laughs> How do I forget that? I don't know. I think all four shades look, work really well together. I really like it. Let's move on to the gold highlighter which I was very afraid of whenever I first saw it, but I have it on the side of my face and it's really pretty. Um, I, it doesn't look gold. I mean, you know, people knew what they were doing, I guess, better than me. I'm just using my e.l.f. Uh, small stipple brush to get it on my cheeks. I'm still afraid to just put it on directly. I'm not wearing any foundation. You can see all of my imperfections and such. So I put some in my e.l.f. stipple brush and I just uh, stipple it onto the tops of the cheeks. It doesn't look as scary as I thought it would be. I've seen the Rihanna uh, Fenty um, gold highlighter. I believe it's called, that one I can remember. And it's called, I lied, I don't remember it. So I just um, dab it onto the tops of my cheeks. And it gives just a nice highlight. Excuse my blemishes, you guys. It's that time of the month, so. And I didn't feel like covering it. Because, you know, I'm just letting it do its thing. This is very reminiscent of the Rihanna Fenty um, highlighter that she has. Hers is powder, though. Um, I really like it. You guys, I was scared of that. I was scared of that shade, but it looks really pretty applied with a stipple brush. So now let's move on to lips. The rest of the face is done. This, uh, should I turn the light on while I apply it? It doesn't make sense. Oh, and I'm gonna use this mirror. That's so cool. I like that it has a mirror. I'm gonna turn on the light because, you know, why not? Ta-da! Now I look very illuminated. This is cracking me up though. <laughs> oh, it's distracting to me. It's the middle of the day. Why do you have on your light? Mmm, it tastes like cotton candy. It feels really good and hydrating. It's not sticky, but very emollient and pigmented enough. I thought the shimmer would be like, whoa, over the top, but I think it looks really cute. And I think it would even look good on top of like other lipsticks that you might already have. I love the mirror because I think that's so cool. The light, I can do without, I guess. So what do we think, guys? A full face of everything that came in the November Go Organic box. Do we like it? I think I like it. Not gonna lie, with an exception of this brush, everything kind of scared me. This with all the shades that looked like Scarecrow and Pumpkin Pie. 
I thought it would be way too over the top, but I think it looks so pretty um, and very fall appropriate and how it turned out. And then this I thought would be way too shimmery, although I love the packaging, but it looks really good. And the glitter is not like huge chunks of glitter. I think it still looks really just natural and makes your lip kind of just voluptuous and healthy. And this was the scariest of them all. I did not think that it would look good on my skin tone. If you do have a fairer skin tone, let me know how this looks on you or what you think of it because I'm interested. So that's it guys, the November Go Organic box. Let me know on the comments below what you think and if you're interested in subscribing for the next month. My December box is coming and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Until then, thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!